Hi! In this video, I'd like to show you how I like to work with interactive, responsive, powerful and easy to manage tables right in Figma. We'll learn how to create tables such as this one, which lets us resize itself however we want while adjusting the content inside, or rearrange rows freely and adjust the columns in just one place, or customize the content of each cell separately or replace the content of each cell with literally any other component we want, or change the rows behavior while preserving overrides, and build powerful prototypes with little or no additional effort at all. All of that while being able to adjust every little detail down to inner margins of each cell at any point in time. So all components, no detaching, just pure Figma at its best and a lot of fun along the way. Let's go. Hi, my name is Adam and welcome back to another episode of the fun of iterating with Figma, a series of short videos in which I'm sharing some of my personal favorite ways of working with the tool. In this episode, we're going to talk about tables in Figma, but first, let me start with a quick confession. When it comes to designing tables and design tools in general, well, it wasn't always a pleasing experience for me. I'll simply put, I hated it. And I think it was partially because of how jealous I was looking at my developer friends being able to completely change the look and feel of really complex tables in the matter of just a few simple CSS adjustments here and there. But then Figma came along and with it, there were things like design components, variants, and of course, outer layout. And suddenly I have found myself actually having fun designing tables. And I really hope you'll find fun in it as well after watching this video. And because the video turned out to be quite long, I broke it down into separate parts so that it's easier to digest. So let's go and take a look at what exactly we're going to be doing today. We're going to start with the cell components. Then we'll move on to creating a set of components for rows. We'll create variants for simple rows as well as ones that can be selected. With that crossed of our list, we'll move on to assembling our table. This is when we'll learn how to, we can actually use all those bits and pieces we put together previously and how we can edit that afterwards. And finally, in the last part, we'll learn how to populate our table with an actual data using plugins such as Google Sheets Sync or Blash from Pablo Stanley. And on top of that, I'll show you how easy it is to make our tables interactive using interactive components in Figma. All right, so grab a cup of your favorite coffee, open up Figma, sit back and relax. Tables will never be the same to you from now on. See you in the next video.